Hello, everyone, and welcome to English Pod. My name is Marco. Hi, guys. My name is Catherine, and today we're talking about something that is a little bit private. That's right, but very necessary to learn in English because it's very, very useful. That's right. So we're talking about clothing, more specifically. Underwear, so the clothes you wear under your clothes. That's right. Okay, so let's just jump into the dialogue. Let's see what happens today, and we'll be back in a bit. Lily, I found a pair of men's boxers in the laundry machine this morning. What? That's weird. Are they your boyfriend's? Nah, Kevin only wears briefs. Plus, this pair is extra small. What do they look like? They're light blue with thin pink stripes. Oh, and there's a Snoopy on it, which is hilarious. <laughs> Those are my undies. All right, so a lot of great vocab there. Let's take a look at that now on language takeaway. Language takeaway. So the first thing we have here in language takeaway is actually very interesting, Marco, because we don't say、um, one. Underwear or one boxers, we say a pair of, just like pants, a、yeah. pair of pants or a pair of underwear. A pair of pants, a pair of shorts, of socks. The same thing goes for underwear. So I really don't know why because it's one piece. So are pants, but、right. basically you have two holes, two places for your legs.、Uh-huh. So anything with your legs, your socks, your shoes, your pants, your underwear, you need we, a pair. We say a pair because you've got the both sides, left and right. Okay. All right. So you got a pair of、um, a pair of men's boxers. Now, before we describe the underwear part, let's l- take a look at this other machine, a laundry machine. Okay. So you know what a machine is?、Mm-hmm. Uh, it's usually something that uses electricity to help us、uh, with a with a task or a job. But、um, a laundry machine is special because it helps us clean our laundry.、Mm-hmm. What kind of things are laundry? So anything that's your clothes.、Mm-hmm. So basically, it's also called a washing machine,、mm-hmm. right? So laundry machine or washing machine, same thing. It uses water and soap to wash your clothes. That's right. Okay, so now let's get into the、uh, type of underwear here, specifically for men.、Uh, usually, we have boxers, boxer shorts. That's right. So shorts、um, means that they're they're not long; they're short. But、mm-hmm. boxers. Or boxer shorts, as you say, are、um, usually pretty loose. They're not very tight,、mm-hmm. and they're longer than the other kinds of underwear we have. Okay, so boxers are a type of underwear that men wear under their 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 clothes, and as you say, they they're pretty much shorts. Right. But they're called boxers, or you can call them boxer shorts. Now, the I guess the classic or the common.、Uh, The common、uh, form of men's underwear are called briefs. Briefs. Now these are smaller than boxers,、mm-hmm. and they're tighter. Okay.、Mm-hmm. And、um, they are usually made out of some kind of material that stretches. You can pull them a little bit.、Mm-hmm. And、uh, this is this is again a smaller version. Well, a smaller kind of underwear. That's right. So boxers are more like shorts. Briefs are kind of.、Uh, And briefs are not really shorts; they're more like a, I guess, kind of like a swimming suit. They look yeah, like yeah, like a bathing suit bottom for for men. Okay, now that's it, right?、Undies. Okay, undies. Okay, so、uh, both these things we could actually describe as undies. That's right. So undies is a common、uh, spoken language way of saying underwear.、Mm-hmm. Okay, so it's very casual, and、uh, it's usually something that we say with our family or friends.、Mm-hmm. Um, especially moms like to say this with their kids. Undies. All right, honey, I'm gonna buy you some new undies this week. And、okay. of course, as a child, you feel very embarrassed. But <laughs> undies is a way to say underwear. All right. Okay, so that's all the、uh, vocab that we have for you on language takeaway. Why don't we listen to our dialogue again? And we'll be back in a bit with Fluency Builder. Lily, I found a pair of men's boxers in the laundry machine this morning. What? That's weird. Are they your boyfriend's? Nah, Kevin only wears briefs. Plus, this pair is extra small. What do they look like? They're light blue with thin pink stripes. Oh, and there's a Snoopy on it, which is hilarious. <laughs> Those are my undies. All right, we're back. So now let's take a look at some descriptive words in Fluency Builder. Fluency Builder. 
All right. So as you said, Marco, we have a lot of great phrases today and some words for describing underwear. And you can describe other things with these words as well. Mm -hmm. The first one we have is a phrase, extra small. Okay. So when you buy underwear, the sizes, uh, you sometimes get small, extra small, large, medium, but it's just a way of describing how big it is. Right. So you, you know the S, the M, and the L are small, medium, and large. Mm -hmm. But if you see the X... S, mm -hmm. that's extra small. It means it's very small. Mm -hmm. All right. We also have XL, which is extra large. That's right. Okay. So now that we've described the size, now we're going to describe a little bit of how they look like, the colors and maybe any characteristics. So the first thing that we see is the color is light blue. Okay. So we've got blue, which is normal blue. Mm -hmm. We have light blue, which is maybe... The color of the sky on a beautiful mm -hmm. summer day. Mm -hmm. There's also, we didn't hear it in today's dialogue, but there's another color. It's dark blue, which is almost more like purple or black. That's right. So this is the way of describing a color. Now, it can be for any color except white. You don't really say light white or dark white. Yeah, you don't. So you could say light green, dark green, uh, light orange, dark, dark orange. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay. And now some characteristics. They had some thin pink stripes. So we have the word here, thin. Mm -hmm. So not fat, thin. Uh huh. Pink, we have the color, but what are stripes? Okay, stripes are a very common uh, design for clothes. Mm -hmm. And you often see stripes, um, they're like lines. Uh -huh. Okay. And so that means that you have um, different lines that are pink. Um, mm. You often see stripes on flags. So for example, the American flag has red and white stripes. Okay, very good. So as you said, there are lines. And yeah, usually in clothing you can find um, maybe shirts that have vertical stripes or sometimes even horizontal stripes. Yes, but these this, these undies are quite unique. They're very special because they have pink stripes. That's right. Okay, so that's all the language we have for you. Why don't we listen to our dialogue one last time and we'll be back in a little bit. Lily, I found a pair of men's boxers in the laundry machine this morning. What? That's weird. Are they your boyfriends? Nah, Kevin only wears briefs. Plus, this pair is extra small. What do they look like? They're light blue with thin pink stripes. Oh, and there's a Snoopy on it, which is hilarious. <laughs> Those are my undies. All right, so in this case, we're talking about men's uh, boxer shorts because there was a confusion about the boyfriend. But women also wear boxer shorts. It's very popular now among women. Yeah, it is. It's usually something that women wear over their underwear. Uh huh. Uh, women don't really wear boxer shorts as underwear. Uh huh. Um, women's underwear is smaller. It's mm -hmm. it's like men's briefs. Mm -hmm. They're small. Mm -hmm. Okay, so if you if a girl wears boxers, and it's usually for Maybe if they're just around the house and you don't want to wear pants and you don't want to wear shorts, you can just wear a pair of comfortable boxer shorts. Exactly. Like they were pajamas. Uh-huh. Mm -hmm. Okay. And actually, I, th I think a lot of girls also use boxer shorts as pajamas, right? That's right. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yes, they're comfortable and they're light and, you know, they're, they're made, usually made from cotton, which is a nice material to sleep in. Mm -hmm. Now, when we're talking about briefs, there is also another way that I've heard that they're called sometimes a more... Uh, maybe funny way of calling them that some people say they're called tidy whities that's right this is usually something we say to joke because mm -hmm. in america at least many men like to wear young men like to wear boxers right and so they call briefs tidy whities because usually their briefs are just white they're plain they don't they're have plain. any design or any other color no they're plain and they're white usually or gray and uh they're tight not like boxers so the the casual name this is not something you want to say to your english teacher by the, way. <laughs> the casual name or the funny name is tidy whities tidy whities mm -hmm. and actually this is a very interesting because with newer generations i think uh, men are wearing boxers instead of briefs before i think the the only option was briefs. Exactly. But now boxers have grown more and more popular. And I think when you're a little kid, your mom always buys you little briefs and everything. But then when you're a teenager, I think you just switch over to boxers. It's not as cool anymore <laughs> to wear briefs. Yeah, yeah, I think it's it's the whole uh, fact of how kids sometimes dress with uh, saggy or baggy pants. And so they like to show their 
they're boxers That's right. underneath for some reason. <laughs> I don't really understand it. But if you do, let us know. Our website is EnglishPod.com. We're going to have uh, all the vocabulary and stuff on the website, so check it out. All right. We'll see you guys there. Bye. Bye.